Hi everyone, I have two diamonds with me today, right? Uh, the one on the left, uh, let's call it diamond A, and the one on the right, uh, I'll call it diamond B. Okay, now um, both diamonds, right, uh, they are uh, different colors. One is a D color and one is a F color. Right, so as those uh, you know, the lower the color, the warmer or the slightly more uh, yellowish the diamond is. Okay, so between these two diamonds, if you were to guess uh, which one is the D color and which one is the F color, which one do you think is which? Right, um, so uh, one of them is a D and one of them is an F. So which one do you think is the the higher the better color, which is the D color? Okay, now uh, now that you've um, made a decision, right? Now what if I told you that um, this diamond, right, is actually the D color, right? Where diamond B is the D color, whereas diamond A is the F color. Are you surprised? Okay, because if you noticed, um, a lot of people might think that oh, diamond A, this one is the D color because if you notice, uh, it looks much brighter and uh, whiter. And uh, not only that, you can see the eight uh, distinct black arrows, right? Uh, whereas diamond B on the other side, you you notice it looks very dark, right? And because it looks very dark, you you do see a lot of like darker or grayer and also like duller uh, spots in the diamond. So these darker areas might make you think that hey, is is this the the one with like the lower color? But actually, this is the D color, right? So why is this happening? Okay. Now the the reason is because of that light performance. Okay, but before I move on to the light performance, let me show you the GIA certificate of both. And here's the GIA certificate for diamond A. Right. So first you can see it's a 0.51 carat F color VS1, and it's a triple excellent diamond, meaning the cut, polish, and symmetry they're all excellent as well. And uh, let me take out uh, Diamond B. Okay, so this is the certificate for Diamond B. It's a 0.5 carat DBS1 and it's uh, triple excellent as well. So if I put these two diamonds side by side in terms of uh, the basic four Cs, right? Uh, carat is about the same, 0.5 carat. Uh, Diamond B is a two color higher, it's a D color. In fact, it's like the best color on the certificate. Both are VS1 and both are triple excellent, right? So you, so based on this uh, GIA certificate, if you just look at the uh, four Cs, you probably go for Diamond B, right? Because it's it's a two color grade higher. It has, um, so you'd be thinking, oh, it probably looks a uh, whiter. Now let me show you both diamonds again. Now here's both diamonds again under fluorescent light. Okay. So remember diamond B, the one in the D color, okay? Uh, you see, you notice it, it looks much darker and duller, right? Now, uh, this is because of its light performance, okay? Now let me show you the A set scope images of both. Okay, so in diamond A, right, you can see the A set scope images. Uh, notice it has a good amount of red. Now, red represents a uh, light return. So, uh, what this means is light is coming into the diamond and being bounced back towards your eyes. So, these red areas, right, they are actually uh, uh, brightness, which is uh, these white areas in the diamond. Now, you notice those uh, blue arrows. Blue represents contrast. So, under uh, fluorescent lighting, it becomes these uh, eight black uh, distinct uh, arrows which creates a very nice uh, patterning in the diamond now do not these contrast patterning in uh, direct lighting right it becomes fire uh, meaning that uh, these blue areas becomes uh, those uh, colorful sparkles uh, which you'll see later on and green color represents a uh, weaker light return and white represents uh, light leakages rising through the diamond so you notice diamond a right it has a super ideal cut light performance it has great amounts of red uh, good amounts of blue the contrast and also very minimum greens meant very minimum uh, whites 
Now, if you look at uh, diamond B, okay, notice there's that sort of like white circle area on the ASAT scope, right? That represents light leakages. So at that same area there, right? Notice there's like a grayish uh, black circle, right? Uh, so these are where all these light leakages are at, which makes the diamond look darker and duller. So where there are light leakages, you're sort of like literally seeing through the diamond like a glass window. So there won't be any brightness or fire coming out from the area. And notice there's also a lack of uh, blue areas, right, in the ASAT scope, right? So remember blue represents contrast. This is why you don't see the eight uh, distinct black arrows here. And later you also notice that uh, it has uh, a lack of fire in this diamond okay now let me show it to you under a different type of lighting okay and this is diamond A under our JMAX lighting so the JMAX lighting is to help you see like the fire and the scintillation so over here you can really see all the eight arrows uh, lighting up right so remember these were the contrast patterning like the blue areas uh, that you saw in the ASAT scope right so these contrast patterning it lights up like what you see here which creates those big chunky fire and those like colorful flares of light right uh, just look at that okay so when a, when a person say, oh, this diamond is, is like really fiery, okay, uh, this is what we are referring to. Okay, so this one is diamond B, right? So if you notice, the arrows aren't lighting up, right? So you don't get those colorful uh, sparkles. Uh, you see like the diamond A. And if you notice, um, remember the ASAT scope, it has a lack of blue areas, which is also a lack of contrast. So this is why uh, you're not getting those uh, colorful fire you're seeing over here. So uh, this is what we call a lack of fire or lack of luster in the diamond, right? You see the big difference? Okay, so this one is to see the scintillation of the diamond. So what I'm doing is I'm moving the light source up and down to make the diamond uh, sorry to make the light enter the diamond in different angles so you can really see like the beautiful scintillation of diamond A just look at those colorful sparkles which is dancing all over the diamond all right and whereas this one diamond B you notice there's something like a white color ring around that right where there's absolutely no sparkle or scintillation uh, that's because of its light leakages where uh, light is going straight through so you can really see the big difference in the scintillation effect uh, between these two. And I have to remind you that both of these diamonds, they are both uh, triple excellent. Okay, and this is under jewelry shop lightings. So if you can see jewelry shop lightings, they are like those either like those typical uh, sort of like orange halogen lights or those uh, calibrated LED light which looks a bit like bluish or purplish. So these kind of jewelry shop lightings, as you can see, it makes everything look fabulous, right? These two diamonds look um, exactly the same, right? Uh, they, they look pretty much the same. They both look very beautiful under these kind of jewelry shop lighting, which makes them really hard to tell them apart, right? So what jewelry stores uh, uh, they, they they usually do is uh, they they just like show diamonds under jewelry shop lightings, and from your eyes you you just have to like like see what you see like uh, what I'm, we are looking at right now to to judge whether uh, this is a, a good diamond or not. But the the problem is even poorly cut diamonds uh, under this kind of lighting it look fantastic. Okay. So the, the worst thing you can do is, is to make a decision and by just looking at the diamonds under these kind of jewelry shop lights. So ideally, I mean that the best way is to compare them under say uh, outdoors or uh, say natural daylight or even better is to use the ASAT scope to analyze its light performance. Because with the ASAT scope, it can really tell you um, how well the diamond is cut 
and and don't forget uh, diamond B was the one with the uh, which, which is the D color diamond the best color so even if you get a diamond with the highest color if it has the light leakages it will still end up looking darker and duller so I mean in this video I even proved that let's say a super ideal cut a better cut diamond but an F color would still shine much brighter and uh, whiter than say a regular uh, D color diamond which is also a GI triple excellent stone okay so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or need any help um, just give us a call or email us, email us uh, we'll be more than happy to help you out thank you okay and just to show you guys something a bit different right this is under uh, natural daylight so okay i'm i'm standing in a in a sheltered corner so i'm not under any direct sunlight but i would say this one is like a under the a corridor actually so it's like an outdoor corridor so you can see uh the super ideal cut diamond a right here you can see that beautiful uh eight distinct black arrows right uh, and it, it has a very nice contrast and you can also see the brightness and diamond B right again uh, notice it has like the grayish black uh, circle in the middle where the light leakages are right and I have to remind you that diamond B is a D color diamond right uh, the diamond with supposedly the best color so what this means is let's say even if you get let's say the, the best color the D color diamond if it has light leakages it will still end up looking darker and duller than it should be which kind of defeats the purpose of you know paying a, a price premium for the best color or a higher color and and just to show this one is an F color which is supposedly two colors lower uh, compared to D but yet it still look much uh, brighter and whiter okay so this is um, to prove that uh, for a super ideal cut diamond right as long as it has great uh, and awesome uh, light performance it will still end up looking much brighter and, and whiter uh, even though it's a lower color okay so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching this video and uh, if you have any questions or you need any help, uh, feel free to let us know. We'd more, we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you for watching.